everyone it's Carla I'm back um, to do a little video again on another play and make I took some time to create um, a project for Jane over at crafted sh crafting shed Davis Davies and she offered another play and make um, plan last Saturday using specific colors and crafting items and um, I thought I would try and do at least a, that project for the week. We're coming to another end of a teaching week and remote and in-person teaching can get kind of confusing and challenging but thankfully we've come to almost the end of another week and I did get to craft something and that always helps. But for Jane's play and make this week the colors were again totally out of my color wheel but um, the colors were blue orange gold and the crafting items were stamps doilies and washi tape so I will show you what I made using blue orange and gold I made a card and I have to say I don't make cards very often but this was so much fun to make and play around with different colors. I didn't bring the paper pad in here that I used, but many of you like me love paper pads and I buy all these paper pads and then I just admire the beautiful prints but hardly ever use them because I don't know exactly how to use them. But on this one, I went ahead and used um, this blue where it looks kind of like a sky or water as my background and I have a tear ruler and I just tore it so that it would have the pretty scallops and then I have this pretty uh, I'm not remembering the name of the paper pad who makes it but they had it has these gorgeous um, floral and butterfly prints and the majority of this is in honor of my sweet mom who absolutely adored butterflies um, and so I just put blue and orange, the monarch being my prominent favorite butterfly. And then this was a, a Prima label little, or no, Graphic 45 little labels and um, uh, tags that you punch out. So I thought that went really pretty. And then I have this really pretty paper doily that has small floral print. So that covered my doily part of it. And then I pulled out my die cut machine that I don't use very often because it's so putsy. But I wanted to put these pretty gold swirls because I think swirls really um, help accentuate the butterfly and how they flit around. So I put my pretty gold swirls on there. And I popped up some of the butterflies with little pop dots for, to make them a little dimensional. And then on the inside, the back of that pretty paper had like this honeycomb kind of print. And I didn't really like that as much as I liked the blue. So I put the blue little squares with the scalloped edges. And my stamping leaves a lot to be desired. But I stamped this pretty little swirly tree and a few butterflies and a dragonfly. And then I may have over embellished this side a little bit, but you could still write a little sentiment or two over here. But these are actually washi stickers. So that served as my washi tape that we were supposed to add. And they came on a roll and you just peel them off and stick them down. So I thought those were really pretty to add. And I have a few leaves that I cut with my die cut machine and some more swirlies and then with some of the scraps I decided to make a pretty tag and so I have a eyelet that I punched so that I could attach a couple um, tags and I just mounted it on I thought this was blue but it's actually more greeny um, but there's the butterfly I put a little I don't know if you can tell a little glossy accents and a gold ribbon for 
the gold color that we are to add. I also put some glossy accent on that butterfly. I don't know if you can tell. But anyway, this is my play and make for crafting Shed Davies. I think it's week number 11. And even though it's Thursday, she won't introduce a new one again till Saturday. So I'll leave a link to week 11 and you can see her pull the numbers and maybe she'll even post hers soon. But this is mine and I really had fun thinking outside of my color wheel and crafting um, my typical crafting style. I hope you like it. I hope everybody is well. I'm really grateful that I have the crafting community for a wonderful outlet and um, just a chance to chat and craft with lovely, lovely friends. So thank you for watching and let me know what you think. I am actually working on another journal that's more in my line of um, style of crafting and I'm hoping I'll get it done within the next week, but I'll be sure to come back and show it to you when I'm finished. And until then, I hope you all are well. If I get a chance to do another video over the weekend, I did do a whole bunch of decoupaging. I called it a stress reliever last weekend. I was practicing on um, tracing paper and different types of crinkly paper decoupaging. So I will get to maybe show you that in a video on Saturday or Sunday. So okay, I'm chatting away and I probably should go. Take care, everybody, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.